Okay, so we've got our peas in here. I'm gonna rinse them out. Make sure you cook them before you feed them to the fish. For you out there that haven't seen the video, this is the first time, maybe you haven't seen my videos, but I do show how to do the peas, and I'm gonna show them again because there may be somebody that's new. And yes, it's good to feed them their peas because it helps with the digestion, helps them to eliminate, so they don't get, especially goldfish, you know, they, you don't want them. And, and, and even though you take the outside off, be careful because I've been, there's double shells on some of them. So just make sure that shell's not in there. I've been just taking them and, excuse me, thinking that everything's off of it, but they're not. Just fill them and see if there's any thing left on there because sometimes there's a double shell. And that's how they're growing. So you just want to make sure all that's off of there because you don't want them to get anything blocking their intestines. Okay, uh, there we go. And this is going to be for ooh, all day because I feed them three times a day and I don't give them all of it at once because they tend to be hungry. All day if you give them just a little bit at a time. So this is gonna be for my comets right here. Let's see, it might be a little bit too much. I might not even give them all of that, but I'm gonna put some in there and see. And then we've got this brine shrimp. It's already thawed out, so I'm gonna give them some of that. So they're getting both things. The best of both worlds. Let me wash my hands. Every Friday, I try and give them a little shrimp. It's frozen or you can get it. Uh, that's not frozen, you can get it out. Uh, and this, I keep a rag to the side for their, for the fish tank. And they're getting partial water change today, two gallons. So, um, I like to do the shrimp on, try and make it to where it's that day that they're gonna get it cleaned out. So that way, you don't have particles all floating around in there and, you know. And this is pretty, quite a bit of sh uh, shrimp. Whoa, so. I just give them half, and then I'll go ahead and give them a little more. But you're just supposed to just pour it in there, over there, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got their, see, they're gonna be ready for them. There's coral, there's jaws, and there's, uh, Steve Harvey. And I'm going over to the verandas after this. They are waiting. They are crazy over there. They're like, these are, how would I put it? They tell you not to put them together because these two, these guys are pretty quick. But my aranda, they are swift. I mean, I try and pour like some water to one side so I can just like clean out their tank and just put the water there. They're like, zoom, zoom, zoom. They zoom over there so quick, and they are gone to the other end. And I'm trying to not like put this cold water in there because you know they're real finicky. Hi down there, you can't see me really, but oh, you can see me now. Okay, I'm just trying to show you what's most important is there. Uh, I don't even have my glasses on today, do I? Ooh, I better go put them on so I can see some. Pass one on me and make me think they're done eating and they still got food in there. Okay, so I use this rag that I was talking about and wipe this off. And what I do at the end of the cleaning and so forth, I take it and I rinse it real good. You could keep a couple of rags. I usually have more than one. I think I've used them for something else. That's why I stopped 
that I have to rip me up another uh, t-shirt. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here so I can get the other prepared for my other ones. And I've got their brine shrimp here. See it? And I, they're still eating, so we're going to let them eat that. Because there's a lot down here that they haven't gotten. So, we'll wait on the shrimp for them. We're going to go check out the other ones, and then we'll come back and see what they're doing. And I see something on this glass, so I like to do this and wipe it off of there. We don't have algae eaters or... Which I want to get a seahorse one day. I'm just cleaning it off with my hands and then I've got my rag. And of course, I do wash my hands good. Soap and water after I'm done with all the uh, tanks. And they're still looking for their food and it's way over here. So, hopefully they'll go get it. If not, I'll take it out with, this, with, the, uh, with the thing. Let's stick it there and I'll show you when I give them. And let's go over, let's go ahead and prepare the other ones there. Okay, we're going to give them some. And then these that I have in here, I probably should take them all and get them ready in this bowl. But I'll just leave them in their shell until I get ready to use them. But these are going to be for the whole day. And it looks like there's more than just for the whole day because I, I did quite a few of them. And these are just frozen peas. And uh, I give them to them every other day or every couple of days. They really like them. And they, it's good for them. It's good to give them some type of vegetables. If you have fish, look up your type of fish and see what's their favorite. But you can never go wrong with the peas. See, there's another piece of a... No, I don't think that it... But you can never go wrong with these because it helps them. You know, they do get swimmer bladder and those kind of things sometimes. And uh, if you're feeding them and they don't get to eliminate or whatever, they can have all sorts of problems. So the peas are going to help. And I think all fish can have them, but look up your brand of fish or your type of fish before you give it to them because maybe there's something else that they use for them. I know they got all kinds of different things for people who are hobbyists that have been in the hobby for a longer time. And I'm sharing with you what I learned, okay? <clears throat> and I plan on being in this for a while. Even if you don't succeed with the ones you have, you get some more and keep trying, right? And that's enough for them, see? That's going to be for them, and that might be too much, but I've given them more than that before, and it's like, uh-uh. The water was cloudy last night, so you want to be careful with that because, not these, but my other ones, because they're just zooming around there like they're starving. Okay, so we're going to go check them out. Okay, these are the Arandas. I don't know if you can see them or not. They're just fast and swift. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I was peeling the, the peas for the, the fish, and somehow the phone said something went wrong, but I had the whole shebang on here. But anyways, these are their peas. This is for the Arandas. I already fed the uh, Comet theirs, and this is going to be for the whole day. Not all of them, because I'm pretty sure that's too much, and I have their brine shrimp. I'm going to give them some, and I was trying to see if they finished off their... Oh, they got it. They already ate the peas out of there, so it's time, guys. We're going to give them some of their shrimp. Okay, today is Friday, and I try and wait for them. They're going to love this. They're waiting at the top already. So you just pour it in, and it goes to the bottom. I give them a couple of pours. See those little shrimpies? And they will enjoy them. That's their treat for the week. Because you've been so good. Yes, you have. They don't know. The other two don't know that the, the goodies are in. They're in. Check them out. They're still eating on the peas, I think. But I'm cleaning some of their water out today. Um, they get theirs done a couple times a week. 
I mean, every other day I take some water out, but today's the day, so if anything's left, then it'll come out. Yeah, let's see if they're getting any. Guys, enjoy some of that. They don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> There's some on the ground over there. They're probably still eating their peas because there was quite a bit down here and they devoured that already. I didn't give them a lot, but you know, I was just putting it in there. And I fed them by hand a little bit, but this recording somehow didn't work. So we'll see what happens with it. Sometimes it cuts out and I'm like, how do I get two different videos? You know? But it's cool as long as I get my recording. But I didn't get the recording when I did earlier. I was shelling the peas, or not shelling them, but getting them prepared for them. But there's another video on here. It shows me feeding the peas, and it shows how to prepare them by taking the shell off and then squeezing the meat part of it in tiny particles so that you can put it so they can digest them. Okay, they say about as small as their eye. Okay, let's go over to the Arandas and see. They're enjoying their shrimp. They're still at the bottom, but when we come back, I'm sure it'll be gone. Look at Carl has whooped down most of them. So hopefully the others will get some. I'll, I have more left in the little cap. See, there's there's quite a bit in here. See? So I haven't given them all. Okay, now we've got... Is That's not a real song, is it? I'm just wondering because I don't want them to be... Oh, we got somebody's music on here. I'm just doing this recording really quick. Okay, can you see them? There they go. Let's put it up a little bit here. Okay, I'm giving them their peas. They're so soft, you guys. If you could only feel. And this one, you see her. She's kind of fading off into her orange again but I'm not really sure if she is yeah I think she's healing up real good but maybe she's just changing colors we'll find out in the long run because it looks like she's it's fading on her you know that black stuff that was on her and she's the only one who got it out of all of them I'm going to get their shrimp too. I got it here so they can have them. There it goes. Aren't they adorable? I could turn the light on. I usually just turn it on at night. The little gray one, he's uh, charcoal. He, he's little, and I want him to get food. Seems like he doesn't get as much as the other ones for some reason. When I put the shrimp in there, though, they're going to all get because I'm going to pour it in, and it's going to go floating on. But see, there's a lot down at the bottom over there, and they will go get it. So I'm going to let them finish, and we'll go to the other ones and see how they're doing with their shrimp, and then give them a little more. And that's it for the day for the shrimp. But maybe I should just give them a little shrimp, like a little bit here and a little bit there, like I'm feeding them throughout. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So they're not going to get any more of anything, the other ones, until a little later, like maybe four, maybe even before that. Probably about two or three, because we're going to be going somewhere in a little bit. Okay, there they go, eating. They're down at the bottom now. See them? They're grabbing all that at the bottom. And they're doing all right, guys. They're doing all right. Doing all right. One of them was all in my hand. And like, oh, I could have scooped them up. 
they're so cute. I mean, they're like, but they're always acting like, I'm so hungry. But they were eating three times yesterday, and I actually think I fed them a teensy bit too much yesterday. So I'm not going to give them like yesterday. The peas that I, you see over there are going to be for another day, too. I cooked them. And um, so go down and eat. There's some food down there. Down there. All right. And I've got the shrimp right here. But I'm not going to give it to them until, you know, they finish eating those. You can watch them for a few minutes if you guys like. I'm going to take the peas away. You can watch them. And my other ones, that's it for them for today. And I'll give them some more later. Probably not for today, but for right now. All right, guys. Watch them. They're about to get their shrimp. This is their favorite part of the day. This is like the second time they've gotten shrimp, so. Opening it over. And half of it, only half, I'm gonna dump because they're gonna get some later, too. See ya? Not up there. There you go. There they go. See them? Watch them eat. They love it. Okay, I'm saving the other. Okay, see them? Go down there. You guys are going to miss it. Because Big Mama going to get it all. <laughs> I shouldn't call her that. That's Cleo. She's the biggest one, and she will eat it all if she can. Believe me. She's quick. And there goes my... Okay, there he goes, trying to eat it all. Oh, they're just all trying to eat it all. They love the shrimp, though. Yeah, they do. But they float everywhere, so everybody has a chance to get some. That I'm not too worried about. It's the peas and the flakes. I have to kind of feed them because one or the other will try and get it all. But they all got some, I can see it. And then I'll feed them again a little later. They really enjoy it. They enjoy those shrimp. Every Friday, guys, I'm gonna be feeding them some. You can get fresh, you can get, these are the frozen. It comes in a 30 pack, only like nine bucks, I think, maybe less. And um, it could be less in different stores. If you see it less, you can ask them to price uh, match. Some stores do it. And I started trying it last week and I they really, really enjoy it. So I'm gonna keep giving it to them and it seems like they're happy with it. And hopefully it has something to do with their health too, that they are healthier to have a little treat here and there. Cause that's the meat. And there is shrimp in their uh, flakes too, but um, this is just pure brine, uh, frozen shrimp see how she's getting a little lighter I don't know if you can tell or not but if you look at the other videos you'll see she's she's fading to gold again and anyways that's it oh so hot out there 
<laughs> Guys, you have a good day. Okay, I wanted to read a little something too while we're at it. Um, they're still eating their stuff, and they're only going to get it like a couple, um, three times. It says, California is taking the first significant step in reopening its economy on Friday by loosening restrictions for certain businesses. The state, America's most populated, was the first in the nation to issue a stay-at-home order to all of its nearly 4 million, 40 million residents, effective on March 19th. I can't say his last name. I don't think. Dr. Mark Galley, the state's Health and Human Services Secretary, said Thursday that data showing stable hospitalization rates gave authorities confidence to move into the first stage of reopening. On Friday, the state will begin initiating that plan. That's today. Here you will find a look at what it is and isn't reopening. What's opening is select retailers with curbside pickup which they already had that, like Michael's and different ones, and delivery options. And in-store shopping is still not permitted. Clothing, home, furniture, books, music, sporting goods, florists, etc. Um, some industries with workers spaced farther apart using protective gear and sanitizing equipment. Manufacturing warehouses, businesses with telework, telework capability, construction, auto dealerships, and car rentals. Offices, gyms, restaurants with dine-in service, shopping malls, museums, public beaches, except were approved with restrictions, i.e. Orange County, churches, in-person, salons, bar bars, etc. Uh, those aren't reopening. Those are the ones that are not reopening. Let's see. What's reopening are select retailers, curbside, example, clothing, home furniture, books, music, sporting goods, florists. Some industries with workers spaced farther apart. Okay, that's saying warehouses, businesses, telework, capability, constructions. And what's not opening are offices, gyms, restaurants, dine-in service, shopping malls, museums, public beaches, churches, persons, in-person salons, bars, etc. And except, i.e., Orange County. What are big cities planning to do? Uh, Los Angeles will effectively be following the state's relaxed restrictions on Friday with the limited reopening of businesses. Parks, hiking, traffic, trails, and golf courses will reopen on Saturday, but masks will be required. San Francisco and the rest of the Bay Area, however, will have decided not to begin reopening just yet. The stay-at-home order for seven Bay Area jurisdictions, will, which began on March 17th, still remain in effect and does not allow for curbside pickup from retailers. Dang, they're yelling at these people. Let me show you this picture. In their face, look. San Francisco Mayor London Bree said Thursday the city may begin reopening 10 days later on May 18th. San Diego County will follow state guidance on reopening. It says, what about specific regions in California opening sooner? The state will allow some regions in the state with fewer COVID-19 cases and deaths to further reopen if they meet laundry list of requirements. Here's some of what's required our counties to relax restrictions. No more than one coronavirus case per 10,000 people for two weeks and no coronavirus COV-19 related deaths for 14 days. A minimum daily to conduct 1.5 tests per 1,000 residents and at least 15 contact tracers per 1,000 residents. Availability of housing for at least 15% of homeless residents along with sufficient disinfectant supplies and protective gear. Skilled nursing facility must have a 14-day supply of PPE. More official information can be found on the state website here. Uh, C -O -O -COVID .ca gov. So that's all we have so far, guys, of um, update, okay?
All right, so everybody stay safe. Um, and enjoy your day. And it's, it's exciting. People are... Oh, wow. They're still talking about some people dying, but, you know, they're getting it under control, hopefully. People are going crazy about this thing. All right, guys. Have a good day, okay?